Yo, what's up, guys? It's your it's your buddy Matt here again, and today I got um, some footage from the new DLC. Today I'm going to be going over um, the new Seraph weapons in this DLC. Now, so far, I've only got five, which I think that's that's all there is in this DLC. Apparently, I've saved and quit out like tens and twenty times. I, this these are the only five that I found. Um, this relic and these four weapons that I have equipped right now. Forget uh, the Hope Light Shield is from a previous DLC. That's not part of it. I was just gonna. I just want to show you guys um, the new weapons and everything. We have the lead storm. We have the interfacer shotgun. We have the Hawkeye sniper rifle. We have the infection corrosive pistol, and we also have the breath of the Seraphs with this, uh, which is a new relic. So, anyways, I um, just I just want to say that this isn't exactly a complete breakdown of each weapon. This is just uh, first impressions of the new Seraph weapons and everything. I just want to show you guys. Um, the new stuff and everything like that. It's not exactly. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna break down every single weapon. Tell you guys. I haven't. Re I haven't read the wiki on any of these weapons at all. I'm just. I'm just giving you guys my basic. Um, basically, my own opinions on them. As this is the first time of me using them. So the first thing I want to go through is the infection pistol, which is always corrosive. And apparently, this is. This is supposed to be some kind of really, really powerful elemental effect because it is a molly wand, of course. And as you can see, the damage and the fire rate for a pistol, this is absolute crap. It is terrible. 2,000 damage is, is nothing. But as you, if you look at the corrosive um, stats down here, it's 67% chance to corrode, which is um, freaking insane if you don't already know. And the corrosive damage per second is 9,000, almost 10,000. And so what this, uh, this pistol's meant to do is just be really, really effective against, um, like, armored enemies and stuff. So we're going to try it out on some of these guys here. We just infected that guy, and as you can see, it's, it's definitely taking its health down super fast. Look at that. That is definitely very, um, it's pretty cool, but it's, uh, the main point of this pistol is to do damage over time, you know? So if you, if you just keep shooting at it, um, there's really no point... And I believe if you, if the other enemies that are corroded touch each other, then I think they're going to infect the infect the enemies that they touched it. But as you can see, the it does damage just basically over time. And as you can see, I, I touched that I touched the infected guy right there, and it uh, it gave me corrosive damage. So this is uh, it's a cool pistol and everything. It's definitely powerful. Like oh my god, I'm stuck. This isn't good. Give me out. Give me out. Anyways. Let's finish, uh, let's finish a couple more of these guys off. At least that's that last armor, dude. And as you can see, look, it's it's infecting everybody. If, you, if these enemies touch each other, then they get infected with the corrosive damage, which is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. So that's the first weapon. Uh, once again, it mainly it's for doing damage over time. And you know what, let's just... Uh, yeah, we'll switch on to the next weapon. So, next weapon I want to show you guys is the, the Interfacer, which is... Um, it's a it's a pretty cool shotgun. I got one of the more powerful versions. Most of them will be times uh, times seven or times eight, but I got a times nine, which is which is sweet. And I also got a fire version. Not all of them are fire. Some of them are. They can be any come in any kind of element or no element at all. They are Hyperion, so firing of course increases accuracy. So it's kind of like the conference call, except it works. Uh, it it definitely works differently. And I'm about to show you guys. Um, you can check out the stats right there. And let me just show you guys what this thing thing's all about so i'm not gonna shoot at the enemies i'm just gonna shoot it in the distance and show you guys oh move child okay I, I shot at that guy but that's it so look at the way that thing shoots it's incredible so you got three three sets of three sets of bullets um three packs of bullets just uh traveling together and eventually there are points where those three three packs of bullets meet up like right there and if you hit an enemy right on at that place, then you can inflict some some serious damage. I don't want to mess with that um, spore because it is an incendiary, incendiary um, and my fire my fire version won't do very good against it. But let's test it out on these guys. These are these are armored enemies, and I'm using a fire weapon on it. And look how much damage it still does. Um, I'd say this is definitely my favorite uh, seraph weapon out of all the five of them. Just because it's very powerful. Now, the problem with this is that it consumes your ammo super fast. Um, these these uh, particular shotguns have a pretty high fire rate. And as you can see, I'm almost out of ammo already. I don't have much more to shoot with. And because it consumes two ammo per shot, which is, which is definitely a pretty big problem. But um, 
anybody's own opinion, I think this is super powerful. And I definitely like this weapon compares all the other ones. And what? What just dropped right here? Oh, a new, um, new fan boat skin. Cool. Um, anyways, let's go move on to the next weapon. The next weapon I want to show you guys is the Lead Storm. The Lead Storm is a minigun assault rifle, of course, Vladoff, who else makes minigun assault rifles? And I have a screwing version, so it's, uh, it's got a, it's got a little knife attached to it for plus 50% melee damage, but this is, a um, this is a slag version. I don't think all of them are slag. Uh, don't, don't quote me on that, but I don't, I believe they can come in all kinds of different elements and stuff. I just happen to get a slag version. So, this is, uh, this is just pretty average for, uh, for like supposed to be a unique weapon. Now, the way this thing works is it doesn't shoot straight bullets, right? It kind of works the way the Nukem works. If you guys know the Nukem rocket launcher, it moves, the missile moves downwards at a, as it travels further um, from the weapon. And as you can see, look, I'm gonna shoot one bullet right there. And okay, I shot two accidentally, but if I shoot one, it spreads into, it eventually spreads into three more bullets, which is, uh, it's pretty cool. But overall, it's uh, it's very inaccurate. It's hard to aim with this thing unless you unless you've got a, a lot of time practice with it, and you know the basic uh, the basic way this thing works. But overall, it's pretty hard to hit enemies if you're very far away, and if you're too close, the bullets won't actually spread into the into the three bullets before it hits the enemies. So that's one thing. If you shoot too close, it won't it won't do as much damage as if you shoot too far from far away. But if you shoot far away, it's going to be very inaccurate. So there's a lot of there's a lot of downfalls as a weapon. It's it's look at that. It's hard to hit these guys, man. It's very very difficult. Let me try hit firing. See if that's oh we got a witch doctor. That's not good. But this is a, it's an all right weapon. It can do some serious damage if you're up close. Like I said, if you're up close, it won't it won't spread into the three bullets that it could do if you were shooting from a from a distance, which is pretty cool. And this freaking witch doctor is transformed into something that I don't like. Anyways, this is the this is the, what do you call it? Uh, I forgot what the gun's called, but that's that's whatever this uh, serif weapon is for you. And this dude is trying to kill me so bad. Anyways, I just I just really want to kill this witch doctor because he's he's very obnoxious. I don't like obnoxious people. You know what? Okay, let me just, uh, give me one second, guys. I'll be one, just one second. Oh, there it is. Um, just, uh, yep, 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 um, yep, yep, okay, that's, that's nice. Yes, very good, very good, very good. Hold up, hold up. This dude's transformed into something that I don't like at all. My bad for going down. It's not my fault. God, this guy's so annoying. How do you get him out of the stage, dude? I guess I just wait. Anyways, in the meantime, I'll show you guys the next, the next, the, the, the fourth, the fourth weapon, the fourth Seraph weapon. This is, uh, this is called the Hawkeye, and it's a Jacob's weapon, so it's not going to come in any kind of elements or anything, but as you can see, it says minus 50% weapon damage, and the damage is 11,756, so it's, it's got high damage because it's a Jacob's weapon, but it says minus 50% weapon damage, so it does a lot less. Now, the bonus, the way this gun works, is it's plus 580% critical hit damage, which is, uh, okay, times, uh, times 11,000 times 6 is almost, uh, with the damage that I have right now, it's, it's about 70,000. It does, it does a ridiculous amount of damage if you hit the head, and it's, uh, 1 times weapon zoom. Magazine size is 10, and it's got a pretty high fire rate, which is weird because it's a Jacobs, right? It's supposed to be mainly damage, but... This gun is only good if you hit criticals. If you only shoot at the, the enemy in the body, it's just absolutely, it's it's atrocious. Like, it's it's just not really good at all. And what, I, I don't understand how to, I don't understand how to get this guy out of that stage. Anyways, let's test out, I want to show you guys this thing. See if I can get a critical hit on one of these dudes. God, like I these savages, man, they move around a lot, so it's not really good. And it's, there we go, 407k damage right there. Um, can't hit that guy. Try to hit somebody that's standing still. Got a witch doctor. Do witch doctors have critical points? Because if they don't, I'm, I'm pretty much blown right now. Um, let me just... Ah, dang it. So you guys get the basic idea of that, um, that sniper rifle. You know what it does. And look at the health regen. We're gonna basically look at the next weapon right now. Health regen. This is the Breath of the Seraphs. This is the, this is the new... Seraph 
artifact, and it's 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 a beast of thing. Damage bonus plus 27 percent, and health regen per second is plus 5.2 percent. Now, if you if you look at one of the previous um the previous what do you call it? the ar previous artifacts, it was the the what do you call it? I have it in my inventory right now. See now this. Oh, let me just unlock that. This one here is the Blood of the Seraphs, which you can get from the Captain Scarless DLC. And this is only 0.3% health regen per second. Now, look at that compared to the one I have equipped, 5.2%. So basically, if you have like 18 seconds and you're basically at like 1 health, then in 18 seconds your health will be fully regen. Now, I have the Hope Light Shield on right now, so my, my max health is very, very much lowered. But as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, it's regenerating so fast. And that's how fast it's going to regenerate, no matter what kind of health you have. Because it's based on percentage and everything. So that is th and that is pretty cool. And before I go, I just want to try and see if I can get a couple more critical. There we go. So it does about 400k damage if you hit these guys right. These guys, these guys don't have critical points, unfortunately. Let me see if I can hit them. Oh. I don't know where those critical points are for those guys. Oh, Witch Doctor's over here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll oh, get off of me, brother. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Those are basically the new set. You know what? You're you're done. You're done right now. I mean it. Yep, you're done. Anyways, those are those are the new Seraph weapons. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if I was, I was messing around too much, but that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will be seeing you guys Hold up, hold up, hold up. Next time. Kaboom. Goodbye.